been a while since we've done one on this. Hello everyone and welcome to Fuka chapter 71, live reaction and review, Where the Wind Blows. And I think there was a title already done by that. So you probably wondered, hey, Zaynab, why is there a live reaction when you have live reaction and review when you haven't done one in a while? Simply because, yeah, um, I found this series kind of difficult to not review, but yeah, I, I think I've mentioned this before. But um, with last week's chapter, I felt that this was this week's was live reaction worthy. So yeah. Oh my scrum diddly um shus. Right. That's Fuka 2.0, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. What? I got... I got... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was just masking in the... Um, oh! Who's this? I'm going to be... No, yeah, that's you. Okay. That's that. There's Suzuka! No! <laughs> you and the gang visit Fuka's grave to tell her about the Bakugo... Budo... Budo Khan concert. What? Oh, Bakugo... Who the fuck is Bakugo? Oh, yeah! <laughs> Fuck it up, sorry. Who should them, who should they find there but none other than Fuku's mother, Suzuka Akitsuki. Bloody hell. He was concerned about their sudden Budokan concert. Why is Fuku's mother, Suzuka, here? Um, well, this is her grave. Fuku's grave, and Fuku is her daughter. I don't know, why the hell would she be there? Fuku's... Mother, yep. Uh, nice to meet you. I'm you, Haruna. Oh yeah, you didn't go to the funeral, didn't you? I knew it. You're exactly like she described. Uh, how did she describe him? I'm sorry. Oh. Fuck off. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. I'm confused. If I didn't tell her to take up music, if she'd never met me. Oh, for God's sake! Why? 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 She'd still be alive. I didn't even go to her wake or her funeral. Bitch slapping Suzuka. Go your bloody... Um, Topsy-turvy when it comes to your bloody... Ah! Oh! Beat that bastard down. Then why did you come today? Well, um... The other members of the band Fuka and I were a part of brought me. Today is my birthday and they said we were going somewhere nice. And if they didn't drag you here then you wouldn't have come. What a twat! He's worse than Twatka! I'm sorry. For now that's... When would you have come? I'm assuming when they actually legitimately go to Baku... Uh, Budokan? <laughs> Bloody hell. The day that Fuga got in that accident, she left me a message. She said she had a dream that we'd all play at Budokan. That she was going there a bit early. That she'd be waiting for us. That's why I feel like she's still waiting for us there. Waiting for us to make a dream come true. Not here, but on Budokan stage. Well. <sighs> uh. She started worrying right around middle school. Eh? About what? She couldn't find anything she wanted to do. Everyone told her to join track, track and field since her parents were both athletes. Yep. But it didn't seem right to her. Oh, my little Fuka. <laughs> Normally, she was bright and cheerful, but she would look so down from time to time. And then, one day... Oh, God. Oh, that's royal! Oh, you bastard, Sia! Why did you have to take her away? Oh, the wounds are still fresh. <laughs> that fucking lorry. Oh, the bus, I don't fucking remember. It was a... Oh, yeah, it was a lorry. She said she'd found what she wanted to do. Oh. Our oh, little Fuga. 
It was years since I'd seen her look like that. I thought she'd given up searching. She got bored so easily. But whenever she talked about the band playing at the school festival, she was shining so brightly. And it's all thanks to you. Eh. Thank you for giving Fuka a dream. Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh! The pain! Yamoto, Fuka's father, and I are really grateful. Where is Yamoto? I'm sorry she dragged you into so much trouble, so try and meet up with her as soon as possible. I'm sure she'd be really happy that you were there. Yeah, how can you be sure about that? I'm not sure about that, eh? We're going to Budokan to play a concert. Right! But we're just in the opening act for a popular band. They wanted us to play for them. And we don't know why they chose us. We're not that good right now. It just doesn't feel right that we should be going now. I can't help but wonder if Fuka would be happy. But you don't know. I mean, <laughs> you don't know, do you? That's like... Uh, 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 my. If she saw us there the way we are now... I had a feeling that I would see you here today. What? How? I'm listening to you talk. I finally know why. Don't worry. She'll be happy. Oh, why say but? She is <laughs> her mother. She would know her best, you. Stop being such a prick. Because today is for mother of what? 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 Oh my god. So it's Fuka's aunt? Oh my god. I hope you now feel like an utter prick. Oh. Oh, I bite down on the finger. Bite it down hard. I'm sure hearing that news would be the best birthday present she'd ever got. Oh. He's enjoying himself like that for Eve. Oh, you bastard. Huh? That's good then. Ooh! <laughs> There's the eyes of my girl! <laughs> You're just like she told me. You're a wimpy little crybaby. Oh, there she is! My girl. Here, this is your birthday present from Fuka. I came across it when I was cleaning her room yesterday. Eh? Your birth? What? Uh, the Fallen Moon original song plan, titled for you temporarily. Oh, she made a song! Did she? Yeah. Fuka. Ma yep, made us a song! Uh, it might have been fate that you met Fuka. Are those tears? No. I really think it was fate that brought us, that brought us together, Fuka. Oh, yeah. He is my boy! <laughs> My boy! Oh. Hey, you, Kuhn. Who are you talking to? <laughs> Admiral looks worried. Uh. Is that your band? Yeah. Please come August 16th. <laughs> uh. Huh? We'll put on the best concert ever. And we'll play this song she left for us. That's going to be their saving grace. All five of us. Oh! Okay, I'll be there. She made them a song. All five of them are going to play at Budokan. Oh! Be right back. <sighs> this chapter was... Well, these chapters are kind of annoying now. Let me explain. It's more along the lines of, yes, I know it's used character development. This was basically used character development in a nutshell, but at the same time it was, you know, rubbing salt on our still open wounds of Fuka's death again, if, you know, you're one of the people that did actually like her. <laughs> so, yeah, um, like, what was the last time? 
Yeah, the last time was bloody use sudden and spontaneous stage fright. I was just like, you what? What? Because people had high expectations of him, and I was just like, okay. I'll keep on reading. And then we got to this part, which was uh, assuming what a dead person wants. Now, to me, in all honesty, you shouldn't have, um, you know, said all that stuff saying I don't think Fuka would want that. But at the same time, he also said I don't think... <sighs> what, what the hell did he say? It was so I hold on, hold on. Yeah, I can't help but wonder if Fuka would be happy. So on one side, he's like assuming um, Fuka doesn't want him there, but then on the other hand, he's at he's um, wondering if she would. Kind of the same thing, but uh, before that, like, he was saying all logical things, like something that I could actually agree with, like. We're not that good. We don't know why they chose us. It doesn't feel right because, again, if you yourself know, and technically is the band leader, know that you're not good enough at this stage and you have no idea why the other guys chose you. I think it was the rabbit people that chose them. I don't know how they got the fucking deal, but okay, whatever. I, that's, I, that still baffles me. Um, yeah, if you don't know why then what's the point? But on the other hand, as the band leader, you also got to consider this could be good publicity, especially with what they want to do. And because of the circumstances, where you know, like with Fuka's death, like him being so close to her, like learning about her, find out her dream, wanting to go to Budokan, achieving the dream early would probably f feel stale in his mouth. Now then, Move on to the next bit. Find out that it was Fuka's birthday. That, I think I can speak for all of us, that we were all surprised at. Especially so with um, Fuka's and Yu's birthday being on the same date. Now, I think... It, <sighs> while it was done for obviously an emotional thing, I think it was just to push forward the theme of fate. Because... There's always been this thing with, you know, at the end we've seen it, the legend continues and so on and so forth. And it and with saying that, you know, I think it was fate that Fuka met you. I think adding the um, birthday thing on the same day was to push that theme forward. And it was done in, you know, like a good way. Like you can't really call something like, you know... Like most times when, you know, like, oh, this is fate, etc, etc. Most of the times that type of theme has been used as kind of an ass pull. But sometimes you can't. It just de depends on the situation. But with something like this, it's not really used in a literal sense, but used in a more, you know, um... How should I say it? Um... Used in the more driving sense, especially with, you know, Suzuka giving, you know, you the song that um, Fuka wrote and recorded. Yeah, you get the idea. It's just basically, you know, like helping you move, al uh, move along. And, you know, like, I knew you'd be here and I was just like, well, explain. And then, you know, the next page, oh, you mother trucker. But he didn't know. Now the problem with that ha I have with you with this chapter is that, <laughs> again, you know, he didn't go to the funeral. I mean, like, I gave him the benefit of the doubt with that part. But after reading, you know, all this, like, you know, I wouldn't have come anyway if my friend. I was just like, oh god, she was your girlfriend. But <laughs> you could say, you know, like, oh Zaydam, he w he felt guilty. You know, anyone would. But. Yes, that is true. People do feel guilty when it comes to death. I am not going to argue with that. But the problem is, is that what he's thinking is illogical. I mean, no one could have conceived the notion that Fuka would have died at this age. All 
anyone really cared about, even Suzuka and Yamoto, was that their daughter finally had something she could call her own and something that made her happy. Both the dream, the band, her friends, and you. You was the main driving point in all this. He didn't cause her death whatsoever, like, a anyone can agree with that. But, yeah. I feel like I have to say that because there probably are some people like, Oh, you caused her death! There's no way in hell anyone could have seen this coming. Because, again, no one did. No one did abs uh, No one did whatsoever. When I was catching up to this, you know, when this, you know, was... I think it was in the 40s. I could be wrong. But, yeah. <laughs> when that chapter came, I was just like, Oh, you fucker. But, yeah, that's neither here nor there. Um, so, yeah, Suzuka going all her good old personality. Just said, Oh, you're a crybaby. <laughs> Etc. Oh, I missed her. I hate her personality, though, because, you know, it's topsy-turvy, but when it's used in an actual funny and good way, like this, I don't mind. So, yeah. All, all this chapter was, hopefully use last major character development needed for for something like this. I mean, the next major character development I can see is when, you know, he finally starts dating. And I hope the god it doesn't go, you know, like him dating Admiral. Something bad happens and then he goes on the Fuka. Or it's Fuka first and then it goes to the Admiral. And then something bad happens and it goes all... Ki what the fuck was that? Kimi no Ichimaru. Because, yeah, I hated that part. So, yeah, you obviously know what I'm on about. So, yeah. Not going to rate this because, again, something like this is kind of hard to rate for me. But if I had to say, we can't... So, yeah. Um, I forgot what I was saying, because I was interrupted. So yeah, to sum it all up, good chapter, good character development for you, um, nice seeing Suzuka again, and it was nice setup for, um, Budokan, but I can see them obviously working on the, um, song beforehand, or at least, you know, playing the temporary and then adjusting it a little bit. Although, as we know you, we'll probably keep it the same, and then it'll be their downfall. <laughs> because you know, they didn't tweak it a bit. Because you can never tell. Or, unless, you know, they all think it's fan tabby dozy but then everyone else doesn't. But yeah, I'm just, you know, thinking too strongly on stuff. So yeah, I will possibly see you next week. Maybe. I don't know. So yeah. Again, I only did this because Suzuka came back. <laughs> Good day.